And with that, uh, Omachi's gonna rape face. Yeah. Die like the scum you are. By painful lightning. Alright. Some more events with Miki. So, occasionally you'll see this uh, event walk around called the Traveling Carnival. Uh, basically what this di is, is like, it's like a recurring event where you can increase your score by 3. And what you can, what you know about your score is right here. The score basically tells you, uh, how much, how many second game points you will get at the time when you beat the bat, when you beat the game. So, the score is basically for second game bonus points. So, just searching around for more dungeons here. Search for this dungeon instead. So we found this one. Pearl dungeon, let's go to it. Using her use me is actually very, very powerful for her for her level because of the fact that she's a musketeer commander. I'm pretty sure she can one-shot uh, enemies up to level 15, I'm not too sure, but. We'll go with this. It's like zombies. Ogre bones. Basically, I'm just looking for ogre bones, which is the majority of the drops that they uh, that they will give me anyway. And Kohima is surprisingly powerful for what she presents herself to be. Sometimes you'll find like other random loots. Let's see, we'll just have Kosaka save his uh slots, his last action fight. Yuzahara using, using me on the other hand doesn't have a uh, strong attack. She just has her musketeer shot. So like that, eloquent miso. It's like it's, it's an item that increases your uh, negotiation skill by one. Just random loots like that you'll you'll find you'll find throughout uh, the dungeons. So here is the final battle. And you got a bunch of these guys going around. It's called Oopies. They're kind of like the Okayu Fevers where they attack two commanders at once, but they attack with flame. And these guys aren't really that strong either. I mean, level 8, come on now. They're not particularly fast either, so... All my commanders can act before they can. But just hilarious. And we're done. An Intel textbook. So, the 20 pearls is just like some random treasure thing. It's not really meant to signify anything. <laughs> or at least, as far as I know, it's been really not meant to be anything, really. <laughs> so with this Intel text, we can give it to Nogiku. So that she has, uh, she has max Intel. And so whenever she uses her all guard, it all guards out to 90%. Which is what you want. Probably along the way, I'll increase. Uh, I'll do Kohima's. Uh, uh, she doesn't really have any events per se, but um, I'll probably boost her affection and give her some. Uh, give her some. What is it? Intel. Intel stats. Some stat boosts. Because her attack is really just really really shitty. So I'm not gonna really touch that too much unless I really feel like it. Um, the defense and Intel are what kind of need some. And just because I had this eloquent miso, might as well give it to somebody. Let's see. No way I will just give it to you, why not? Now with that done, um let's see here. What could we do? 
How many overbones do we have, by the way? 16. You want to go to the shop when you have around 55 ogre bones, so you can get like a lot of stuff at once. We could levy some taxes as well, because I'm sure there are some uh, there are some counties that I haven't levied taxes on, or uh, maybe not. Well, this one's the this, this one right here for some time. It's been some time. Have fun with Nico. Yeah. Right. Anyways, so what do we do now? Well, what we could do is also go to his oil dungeon to complete it anyway because it was already complete for us. So might as well. So where's us? Uh, where's Susan? Man? Holy Miss and Himesh and uh, let's see, who's a fast commander? Like, I could have a ninja unit come out, but, um, first of all, Kosaka, you know, we could send out Orim, but Orim is a strange commander. She, technically, she's a ninja commander, but she's a front row. You can't put her in the back row, because if you, if you do, she's not gonna do anything. She can't attack, because she's, her weapon is a sword, not like, not like a, like a shuriken projectile. So, if we were to send Orim out, she'd have to be in the front. Kind of strange, but that's how it works. You know what? Might as well, we might as well do it. So we're gonna be right there, and uh, you know, actually, we just have Susan right there. So, uh, we'll just send a Baba show and what the hell not. We'll just have you stand by. Doesn't matter if the squid man attacks. I mean, it's not like it does anything anyway. And also, uh, commanders who have, like, uh, passive abilities that let them heal and generate health, it also works in solo commander paths as well, which is a nifty kind of detail that I like. It's only 30 HP, but still, it might save your life. So I've got this control back here. Might as well kill it. Kill it! Kill it with fire! All these guys are on the last action flags. <laughs> 